After the death of Vleet and the destruction of one of the largest ships in the Stog fleet, the Death Comet, Scrap Heap, aka Billy Hayes, survived from the collision of my friend's ship. Well, not exactly I call a friend, Thal. Let's just say another important person in the story that you guys will later on will know in the next couple of episodes or so, depending how Crab Muffin edits his shit. <coughs> Damn bugs. Well, anyway, Scrap Heap, all battered up and missing an arm, that bastard, found near the bridge, or what was left of the bridge after the crash, a repair chamber. A chamber where Stog walk in and get repaired automatically. And outfitted with guns and of course armor and weapons and all that sort of good stuff yeah think of it this way for you humans that play video games it's like a pack a punch for the stog anyways one scrap heap started his fight with the stog on fleet ship gave me ample amount of time to place explosives I tore for placed bombs throughout the ship in random places hoping to slow down the only functional stog ship left in existence. At any rate, even though that the stog were all not eliminated from existence, I still wanted to make sure that Vleet was dead. still retain some energy be enough to act as an improvised explosive here. all right it's ready all I have to do is just press this button here and it always goes boom Now I am armed to the teeth. I am no longer Scrap Heap. I am Billy Hayes. Say hello to my little friend or friends. Ah! Yeah! Ah. yeah! Headshot. What's a boy? Who wants some? Uh, rip and tear, rip and tear. Every stog for themselves, every stog for themselves. Retreat, fall back. Our leader is dead. What? Send those. Bloody Synthos! No one can kill me. I can never live. I can never die. Ah, ah, ah.
Check that! You like some of this? I'll take you all on. It'll take an entire army, this whole universe to kill me. You can never kill me. I'm Billy Hayes and you, Stog of Turbulent on Monster. Now you're all dead. Oh. Uh, I'm Billy Hayes and you can never kill me! Uh, uh. job here is done. After killing off the rest of the Stog fleet, or what was left, of the Star Fleet. I left Fleet Ship. I travel back to Earth in the present day to find the last bad guy that, well, ultimately tried to kill me, Cardin Vex. Sorry for this episode for not having as many interesting jokes as the past ones did. Or better yet, even the acting. Let's just admit, you know, the last episode, knee, knee Deep in the Dead. I mean, that acting was terrible. Trust me. Ow! Fuck my arm! You son of a bitch! Ladies and gentlemen, I, I, I swear to you. I swear to you on my left nut. Well, be, maybe not that far, but the acting will improve. Whether Crab Muffin's going to be playing my part or not, trust me, it will get better. Anyways, serious time, serious time. No joke, serious time. But unfortunately in this episode, it's about to get dark, okay? I'm not going to lie. You see, fam, I have lived a long time. I'm 115 years old, what can I say? Lived for a long ass time. For you humans, it is a long time. For me, meh. I have lived a long time, and I've saved many lives. And I've even taken so many others to save others. A never ending cycle of life and death. When I planted the bomb into Death Comet, I needed assistance when I was planting that bomb and planting the other little bombs even in fleet ship. So I traveled around the universe to find warriors that had fought and survived the wrath of the Stog Empire. I told them the truth, that they would all perish. I told them that the plan, the plan was simple. That the 29 mercenaries that I had at my command at the time of the destruction of the Death Comet would teleport inside the landing bay and cause enough of a hassle to the Stog that they would be too busy, e too busy, 
to even notice me going to the engine room to blow up the massive ship. However, the mercenaries didn't even stand a chance. After all, the, s the ship contained 67 million stog, but in the end, they helped hold off the stog and gave me just enough time to plant it and detonate the bomb. I told them that they didn't have to come and help me, but they were mad and enraged at the stog for what they did to them and their worlds. They wanted revenge. And sadly, I could not veer them off course. I tried. I know you guys won't believe me, but I tried. But sadly, it didn't work. And now they're all dead. And in a way, it was because of me. I'm not always the good guy. Sometimes I'm kind of like the bad guy. I didn't blame them. After all, I too had lost my friends and my family from these monstrosities. But one thing is for sure. Revenge never brings back the ones you lost. It doesn't fill up that empty void inside your soul. But instead for me, now, the reason why I don't just kill the stog out of revenge, I kill them to stop them because of purely out of prevention and to stop them from hurting others and destroying other worlds. Let's just say the stog have no sense of morality no sense of they're out of control let's just put it that way the stog are not the only ones that time and time i have stopped i have in my time have stopped armies from destroying people i have gone as far as saving not just a few people but i have saved entire civilizations and species from total annihilation i could go on I never really asked for an award all the time. At times I would ask for some money or spare parts. I mean, you know, look at my ship, man. I mean, it's it, it looks like a goddamn basement for all I care. <clears throat> but usually never. I don't just do this because it is fun all the time, because it is easy. I don't do this because I hate somebody, because I really like somebody. I do it because it's right, because it is kind and decent. I have lived so long that I have seen myself turn from a hero to a villain and now back into a hero. Well, yeah, that, that's actually not really fully true. I mean, I have turned into, I was a hero, then turned to a villain, as you guys will find out later in maybe in season two of this series, but also turned into like an anti-hero like Deadpool okay <clears throat> speaking of saving people I'm about to land my vessel on this planet here called Mondas not to get confused with the Mondas from Doctor Who okay I'm about to save this world and its people from total nuclear destruction or at least I'm gonna give it a try god damn it I'm getting drunk tonight, Randy. Really.